Buckle up, in today's video, I have a major update for TerraCoin, also referred to as Luna, regarding a massive announcement that could literally change everything. And if you own Terra Luna, you need to watch this video. Before I get into this video, guys, show your support for Terra by smashing that like button. It only takes a few seconds, and I really would appreciate it. And while you're at it, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you're new, so you don't miss out on future videos. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice, and this video is only for entertainment purposes. Now let's get right into it. So over the past 24 hours, Luna has jumped over 73% and the trading volume is also up over 312%. This might be because of the massive announcement that was just made. So let me start by telling you guys the not so good news and then tell you about a plan that could potentially help save Luna. So according to Gizmodo, South Korean Supreme Court documents show that just a week before the price of Terra USD and its sidekick coin Luna utterly collapsed, company founder Du Kwan and other executives decided to shutter their native South Korean headquarters. The timing of the Terra blockchain price collapse compared to this latest reveal and the timing of big investors cashing out is adding more pressure on Terra executives to explain just what happened to their supposedly stable stablecoin. What's interesting here guys is that the headquarters was reportedly dissolved on May 4th while the seal branch was nixed a day later. That same weekend Terra started to see fluctuations in its price resulting in a full-on crash which virtually wiped out most of the market cap for Terra Luna leading to a lot of losses for investors. Now here are the potential good news. So the Korean Times reported Friday that Korean prosecutors are now considering fraud charges against Kwan. Not only that but international watchdogs are thinking about taking on the crypto bros to finally regulate what's long been marketed as decentralized finance. Meanwhile Kwan is already talking about Terra 2.0 rebranding the old Terra and Luna as classic, even though both coins are both being traded for practically nothing at the time of recording this video. The governance proposal which Terra community members can vote on would give up the failed algorithmic stablecoin, effectively replacing it with Luna on the new Terra blockchain. New Luna coins will reportedly be airdropped to classic users according to Quan. Guys, I am not really sure about this. Now, in my opinion, I myself am not invested into Terra Luna. And based on all of these different reports, I'm really Reading, I have no plans to start a position. In fact, I myself will be watching from the sidelines. And if you guys own or are planning to own Terra Luna, make sure you guys do your own research because there is no telling where this could go. Now, guys, do me a favor and drop a comment. And let me know. Do you think this new plan to revive Terra Luna will work? With that said, if you enjoyed this quick update, be sure to smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on future updates. Now, guys, I do want to quickly mention that wealthresearchgroup.com is providing a free exclusive report on stocks that could make you wealthier for decades to come. This is a report that I use frequently and it features a full breakdown of the rare few companies and there are less than 25 of them that are world class and a force of nature, all selected by an expert in the industry. Guys, this exclusive report is providing you with hundreds if not thousands of dollars worth of research absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description and grab your free copy as this could be truly life changing.